Hey Coolidge teachers, this is Fiza. In this video, I'll catch you up on the Newzella Pro introduction you missed a few weeks back so that you can begin to access and utilize Newzella with your students. So in this video, you're going to learn about Newzella Pro as a multi-subject curricular resource and understand its applicability in supporting both literacy and DCPS units of study across all disciplines. So the agenda for the video is for us to review the outcomes, which we've done, for me to provide an introduction to Newzella as a resource, and to provide you with um, access to Newzella, show you how to log in, and then give you an opportunity to then experience Newzella. So let's start with the introduction. What is Newzella? Well, Newzella is a digital content resource Coolidge has purchased Newzella Pro for you to use in your classroom. Newzella provides articles and nonfiction texts that are available at five different Lexile levels. What that means is that you will have the same content available to students, but they can access it at multiple levels depending on where they are. So if you have a ninth grade class, but you have somebody reading at a seventh grade level and somebody reading at a tenth grade level, they can both still read this article about climate change and get the same content and same ideas, but read it at the just right reading level that is appropriate for them. Newzella also offers texts in Spanish. So with the combination of both Spanish and different Lexile levels, Newzella is an excellent tool for personalizing and differentiating instruction. Newzella's content comes from a consortium of over 30 different daily newspapers. The Associated Press, The Washington Post, Scientific American, The Guardian, for example. And again, each of these articles is produced at five different levels. So you'll see here I've put the Lexile levels according to grade. And you can see on the left hand side, um, Newzella provides five different Lexile levels for an article. So you can just toggle between the levels to read the article at a given level. So Newzella was founded in 2012 and has over time built, its, built out its resources. So it started with current event articles and news articles and has since built out to include other types of nonfiction texts and informational texts. And as a Newzella Pro license holder, you have access to all of the resources that Newzella provides. So the best way to navigate Newzella, or sort of the easiest way, is to use the text search bar at the top. You can type in keywords, for example, George Washington, or technology, or China. You can also search by grade level, and you can search by reading standard. And these are the common core literacy reading standards for all disciplines. So if you want students to focus on identifying the central idea, or work on identifying the author's point of view or purpose, you can search by reading standard. Newzella allows you to search and navigate in a number of different ways. There are kind of different tool, uh, sorry, drop down menus at the, at the top, um, the library, news, and text sets. So let's dig into each of those so you can see what that looks like. So if you search under library, you can search by topic. You can search science and math. You can search geography. Um, you can search by US history. You can also search by type of text. So if you don't want a news article or a current event article, you can instead look for primary sources, biographies, speeches. So that's the library. If you want to look at news, you can search by topic as well. You can look at opinion articles, you can look at mon um, articles about the economy and money, you can look at articles about health, arts, sports. You can also search by text set. And what a text set is, is 
a series of articles that have been grouped together by topic or theme. So there are text sets for literature that are about a particular anchor text. There are text sets for science around a particular scientific concept. So you can search with these three bars. So first and foremost, Newzella offers news articles. That's where the name comes from. That means that you can find current event articles to talk about what is happening in the here and now with students. So for example, this summer, Pokemon Go was all the rage, and you could find this article on Newzella. And once again, your students could read the same article, but read it at five different Lexiles, or read it, they should be reading it at the Lexile that is appropriate for them. In Newzella, you can also find famous speeches. So for example, this is Elie Wiesel's famous speech, The Perils of Indifference. So if you were studying the Holocaust, you might want to use this speech. And again, it's available at five different Lexile levels. If you were studying science and evolution, you might want your students to read this biography of Charles Darwin, again, available at five different Lexile levels. If you were studying history and the Civil War, um, you might want students to read the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 and read it at five different Lexile levels. You could also search Newzella by text set, by topic or subject. So if you wanted to talk about Black Lives Matter, here's a set of six articles connected to that topic. Some of the most popular reasons teachers use Newzella are to supplement class lessons and content. Some teachers use it as a silent reading vehicle to support comprehension and to support um, development in reading proficiency. Some use it to discuss current events and current affairs, and others use it to assess reading comprehension to figure out where students are, to then do deliberate differentiated instruction or purposeful grouping around reading. All of which are connected to the idea of supporting student reading with Newzella. So the primary way that Newzella supports literacy is through its formative assessment tool. Each text or each article has a four question multiple choice quiz. The quizzes are connected to a literacy anchor standard and Newzella will track how students perform on quizzes. So like I said there are going to be eight types of questions that Newzella offers based on reading standard. So the question could be about what the text says, the question could be about central idea, people, events, I ideas, text structure, etc. So you can always tell where students are performing um, on the reading standards because the question is, kind of, is broken down by that objective. This video will show you about how to select articles for students. It is linked on the Canvas page. When I did the professional development with your colleagues, I showed this video. Again, it'll be available for you to watch after this current video. Another great thing about Newzella is that it allows you to have student and teacher annotations to support comprehension. What that means is that you can highlight the text before a student reads an article and create text dependent questions that prompt students to read carefully and pause while they're reading, do a stop and jot. You can highlight in multiple colors, so that means you could develop a system where you ask students to highlight words they don't know in red or highlight the main idea in green. So basically what Newzella allows you to do is to have a digital conversation with students about text through typing or through highlighting. This is the place where you might want to embed any reading strategies you've been teaching students um, right into the platform. This is one of the best features about Newzella. 
And um, this video was made available to your colleagues that I uh, worked with a few weeks ago. So you can watch this video on teacher and student annotations. It's available to you on the Canvas page like the previous one. Another great feature of Newzella is that it has built-in and custom writing prompts. So Newzella allows students to respond in a short paragraph to an article. The pre-made prompts are a little bit broad, um, often asking students to identify a central idea and to use details from the text, which is an important assignment. Students should be able to identify central idea and use supporting evidence. However, what's really great about the right tool on Newzella is that this is where you can really ask a specific question about the content of the article. So the multiple choice questions are always going to be focused on the literacy standards, so you can't really change those, but what you can do is use the writing prompt to really get students to write about and think about the in actual information presented in the text in a short paragraph. And on Canvas, you can watch this video on Newzella Pro writing prompts that will show you how to um, write a prompt into the platform itself. And you can view it after this video. The final thing I'm going to talk about that Newzella offers is student data. This is super rich. Newzella tracks how many quizzes they're taking, what level they're at in terms of reading. Newzella will put students at their just right reading level after they have taken eight quizzes. So it will automatically assign them where they need to be, and it will move up with them as they improve on their reading proficiency. So Newzella's data tools allow you to see who needs help, who's on track, who's nearly on track, and that allows you to provide different types of support in your instruction. All of this data is available to you in what is called the Newzella Pro Binder. This video on the Newzella Pro Binder is available on Canvas and you can watch it after this video. I also finally wanted to share the instructional recommendations that Newzella offers based on research on all of the folks across the country using Newzella. Newzella recommends that you take two quizzes a week for three consecutive months. This has proven to build reading comprehension. Newzella also recommends that you ask students to spend at least three minutes on a quiz. Not three minutes reading the article and taking the quiz, but just three minutes on the quiz. That means they are spending three full minutes on four multiple choice questions. This will require them to go back to the text and think more carefully about what the question is asking. Newzella has found that students that spend at least three minutes on the quiz perform better on that quiz. So now I will show you how to access and experience Newzella. Newzella is accessed via the DCPS Clever portal. When you open the Clever portal, you will see a dashboard that looks something like this. You will click on the capital N for Newzella, the little blue icon in the bottom left. Your students will access Newzella the same way, and they will enter their username, which is their student ID number, and their password, which is their six-digit birth date. This is how you access Newzella. You go to www.clever.com slash in slash DCPSK12. Then you enter your username, which is your DCPS email, without at dc.gov. So for instance, mine would just be fiza.siddiqui. And then you enter your same DCPS email password that you use in your Outlook. Newzella offers a great learning and support site. 
So if you go to support.newzella.com, you can get resources for your classroom. You can connect with the Newzella educator community and learn about how teachers across the country are using Newzella. And you can access professional learning and development videos and resources and webinars to improve how you use Newzella in your classroom. My team has also created a Newzella Canvas page for quick reference on um, access and login information. And it also includes professional development resources, including the four videos that I mentioned in this video. So shows you how to select articles for students, shows you how to um, do embedded annotations, how the teacher does it, how students do it, um, how to use the writing prompt builder tool, and then how to access the Newzella binder and what is available in the Newzella binder in terms of data. So a recommended next step would be to access the Newzella Canvas page at this website and to watch these four videos and then you will be fully caught up um, with the Newzella Pro introduction that you missed um, a little while ago. Um, so please feel free to email me with any questions and now that you've finished watching the video, please uh, jump in with us uh, and the rest of the group in the PD today. Thanks for watching.